Hi folks, Frank the Pest Geek here. Well, I've been having a problem in my house with fruit flies coming in from outside. And it's been driving me insane. And as you can see, I made this trap. Well, I didn't make the trap. The trap was already made. I bought it to test for flies and to test a bait that I made, a bait attractant. And as you can see down there, they're all swimming in it. They're all, there's the larvae that is being born and there's a larvae swimming in there it catches fruit flies the only problem that you have with a trap like this it isn't designed for fruit fly the hole is is too big it's designed for house fly musca domestica not fruit fly and so it's but i had it here now i've had it for two weeks and i put it inside my house and i noticed at first it would not catch flies it took about a week and the secret was this needed to ferment. So the, the, the combination of the vinegar I used, the sugars that I used to make this attractant, after a week after it fermented, it started catching the flies. At first it wouldn't catch anything. So I caught all the flies inside my house with it. And it's just an enormous amount. I've got, I don't know if you can see here, I've got a lake behind my home and there's trees, there's fermenting fruit from the palm trees that you can see the fruit has dropped. And let me go actually, let me walk over there and show you. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you what, why you get fruit flies even if you don't have fruit inside your house. Now hopefully we're able to see this. And we have There's fruit on that tree that's ripened and fallen on the ground. And when it starts to decompose, you're gonna get fruit flies all over the place. They're crawling all over here right now. Um, they're all over the place flying. Let me see if I can, if I can let you see them flying. But they're definitely there. I can see them, I just can't catch them so any you got you know this is within I don't know 20 feet of my front door and maybe 50 to 60 feet from my backyard and you're getting so I've got this enormous amount of fruit flies well the solution is pick up the fruit bag it and get rid of it so the fruit can come from anywhere remember they're looking for a fermented source Okay, we're not looking for actual fruit. What they're looking at is a fermented source. And the, the, there they are flying around. So when the sugar, people say, well, just use, um, you know, apple cider vinegar. Well, if it doesn't ferment, it's not going to be attractive. There's a fly on the top hanging out there. Um, but there is a lot of flies in there. Uh, I, I, I knew it and it was inside my house because I saw the larvae at the bottom just floating and, and swimming in there. And I said, oh, good, they deposited eggs. That means the flies are in there. Sure enough, it's collecting them. And it's catching, you can see them floating there on the top. Hundreds of them in there. But the secret is to get that sugar to ferment somehow and, and the vinegar to ferment. So I added sugar to it. I added molasses and a special blend vinegar that I'm trying and that I'm testing based on a couple of studies I read uh, to see if it works. It seems to be working. Um, I don't have housefly here problems. Um, it just doesn't seem, the other day I did, uh, I was starting to smoke uh, pork butt for like 12 hours and sure enough, flies showed up. I'd never seen flies here in you know the time, but when I started doing the smoking, the flies show up and it attracts them because of the decomposing meat inside the smoker and also the CO2 emissions attracts the flies. So that's why you get flies. But in this case, the flies are caused by fermenting fruit from a foxtail palm tree. And basically the solution is cut it down and remove it and remove all the fruit around your area. Especially if you've got fruit trees. You got mango trees, you've got, you know, anything that falls to the ground and ferments, 
is going to attract the flies. And if they're near your door, well, you open it up and sure enough, they just come in. Hope this helps, folks.